Hello, welcome back to Curl Gaming where we discuss all things video games. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a really, I don't want to say a one-off, but a spin-off of uh, the new Super Mario franchise. Uh, this came out to celebrate Luigi's 35th anniversary, which is really odd, and it was originally done on the Wii U. And then when they brought over uh, new Super Mario Bros. U to the Switch, they added it in as um, a separate game. So what I'm talking about is new Super Luigi U. Um, and this one seems more like a speedrun than anything. So with that being said, let's break into it and take a look at new Super Luigi U running on the Switch. Here we go.
Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, welcome back. Hopefully you like that look at new Super Luigi U running on a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I did kind of cheat when I switched over to Nabbit. So with that being said, if you do play as Nabbit, nothing will hurt you other than falling down pits. Um, you, they won't be able to use any of your power-ups either. They did throw that in there. So if I remember correctly, when this did launch on the Wii U, and I did have it at that time, it was... I don't want to say like an expansion pack, but you can buy it separately as a disc, which I did. And then later on they did include it uh, with uh, New Super Mario Brothers U later on. Excuse me. Uh, as you can see, so as you're playing as Mario or any of the Toads, or not Mario, Luigi or any of the Toads, uh, it's basically like a speed run to get to the end of the course and trying to collect all those massive coins. Um, main problem for me is so you have have it down to 99 seconds try to get to the end try to get all your collectibles within that time frame it is just a lot of time another thing with Nabbit they do add an extra 100 seconds so instead of 99 you get 199 uh, which is nice uh, it, it will help you try to blow through or try to get through those levels quicker uh, Nabbit's a nice way of getting into those levels and then trying to progress, see if you can go back, get what you need, come back with either Luigi or one of the Toads and try to use some of the power-ups just to get through. Yeah, this is a nice addition to the Super Mario Brothers line, especially the new Super Mario Brothers line. Uh, this one I believe got mixed results and I think it was because of the speedrun aspect of it. Uh, that doesn't mean it's a negative, it just means it's it may be a little bit different. I thought this was a great way of trying to showcase Luigi. Uh, yes, his jumping mechanics is odd. Longer you hold it, the longer he may float or run in the air. Stuff like that. But I, I just think it's uh, an odd addition, is what I think. So, do I like it? Yes. Is it top of the the list? No. Um, I'd say it's above average. I don't want to say it is average. I'm going to say it is above average. The fact that they give you Nabbit, and uh, another thing I like is when you save a game in your progression, so as you can see I think uh, my Luigi file had about like 15 or 17 extra lives, but when I switched over into Nabbit, no, default at 4 and then you have to earn your extras to go up. Uh, there's enough in here that's going to hold you over. The length of the game itself, um, I think it's about six to eight hours to complete. I may be a little bit off on that. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. And I think that's where it kind of got knocked uh, as well. So when it came out, it was full price on the Wii U and then it was bundled in. So I am glad they did bundle this in with uh, Super Mario Brothers U on the Switch. Uh, again, that game came out at full price, so kind of a negative there, but uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, and Nintendo games seem to hold their value. There's a lot of replayability on them. Uh, this one's no different. So if I progress more with Nabbit, make it to the end and I enjoy it, and I'll come back. Maybe I'll try Toads. Toads aren't as floaty on the jumps. Uh, Toadette does have extra powers that the other ones do not have. And then of course you have Luigi, where he just, like I said, you hold the jump longer and then he kind of floats and takes off. So he's not a smooth uh, jumper. I'd, I, I wanted to try to compare him to Peach, but he's he doesn't have the same jumping mechanics where Peach can jump, float, hover, and go over. Luigi kind of has that peak where he goes up, 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 and then over, and then just drops. So, like I said, his jumping mechanic is really odd, especially if you're in a stressful boss fight where you're trying to jump and land on him. It can be pretty hectic. Same with some of the platforming where you are needed to jump on a regular basis, so timing is everything in this, and it's uh, it can be aggravating. Uh, with that being said, let me know what your thoughts are. Have you played this before? Have you played it on the Switch or the Wii U? I believe those are your only two options. And I'm not sure if you can download this one separately. So I know on the Wii U, when that was released separately, you could download it separately from the eShop. Not sure if you can on the Switch's version, you might be able to. Um, so that is an option. If not, it's it's going to be bundled with new Super Mario Brothers U uh, Deluxe. Anyway, let me know where your thoughts are. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I do upload on a regular basis.
and we'll catch you all next time.